Hey everyone, I'm Wago Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, Wago stands for when you get old. Okay, today I'm gonna to be doing an old school get ready with me as we discuss some changes that are gonna be happening with my channel. I'm gonna to try to talk the whole time as I'm applying my makeup and not have to do any speed throughs, but knowing me, I may mess up. I'm going in with this primer here from Do of the Gods. This is the Tahitian Breakfast. I think I got this in an Ipsy or an Icon box. So for the past three and a half years, I have been posting three videos a week. I don't get PR. I don't get paid. Well, I'm monetized, but I've made like a total of $140 in the nine plus months I've been monetized. So that is nothing. I have also recently reduced the amount of boxes or subscriptions that I subscribe to. And I also haven't been doing as many hauls. I've been in an extreme low buy. So I don't have a lot of content ideas. When I started my channel, I was primarily an unboxing and hauls type video. And then I do review products, etc. But since I don't have very many subscriptions like I once had, and I'm not doing as many hauls, I've been having to do a lot of like, get ready with me. Here's a whole makeup look, which is fine, but it's a lot of work. Those types of videos take me the longest to edit because it will be over an hour of filming that I try to get down to be simply, if, if I'm lucky, under 50 minutes, I will take 20, 25 minutes, but it's hard. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. This is in that pinky shade, which should hopefully help conceal my dark circles. We will give this one another try. Anyways, so it's a lot of work. For honestly, I'm lucky if I get 100 views on a video. For example, my recent video that I uploaded on Tuesday, even the people who follow me all the time and leave comments, thank you so much. You know who you are. Only like three of the 12 or so people that watch every one of my video watch that video. So I don't know if YouTube didn't send out a notification or what was going on or if everyone just happened to be busy that day I get it it's not your life to watch my videos but on the other hand it's a lot of work for not a lot of reward I'm gonna go in next with a BB cream this here's from Misha I have shades 21 and 23 which I like to mix together to get the perfect shade match so what I'm rambling and not doing a very good job of getting through to you is that I'm gonna start not uploading three videos a week that was a very aggressive um, schedule in my opinion I mean youtubers whose sole job it is like they get paid and pay their bills and do everything on YouTube put three videos up a week some do more but um, yeah that's a lot I have a full-time job so it's it's just a lot plus I've been in a little funk and it takes a lot of energy for me to even feel like filming so I thought that if I got rid of my Sunday video schedule and just posted on Tuesdays and Fridays that would give me three days in between each upload instead of I only have like a day and a half between the Friday and the Sunday to you know post videos I also thought it would be good if I don't have anything it would be okay if I just didn't post so I want to make sure all of you turn on your post notifications so that if I put something in the community tab and saying like oh sorry I don't have a video today catch you on Friday or, or however it works out that you are aware if you even care I'm going to use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I'm just trying to hit pan on this sucker. I know you've seen me use it a million times, but it feels like, I don't know, it's too hard to see how far along I am, but I feel like I'm getting close. 
So hopefully you can, you know, understand where I'm coming from. Now, what I'm saying here, I could totally change my mind <laughs> as items. If, if I do a bunch of hauls or like I'm thinking for Black Friday, you know, I'm not going to wait on something that's timely. So I may go back to three or I may decide, you know what, this subscription arrived on a Monday. I could film it that night and I could upload it to zero Wednesday. I may just randomly post something. But let me know if that makes sense and if you're okay with that. Also, I was curious, are there certain nights of the week that you prefer to see videos? I originally selected Sunday, Tuesdays, and Fridays, and I don't know if this is correct, I figured everyone else in the world, like all of the big YouTubers, would post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I didn't want to compete with the, you know, Monday, Wednesday schedule. I figured Friday would be good because a lot of people are out and about or going out to dinner. They may not be watching as much. I also know a lot of big YouTubers post on Thursdays. I don't know. Do you think I'm crazy? I just figured if the big ones are out, you're going to watch their videos and not mine. But let me know if there is a certain night of the week that you prefer to watch your videos. And if so, I could possibly switch to those days of the week. For contour bronzer, I'm going to be using this guy here from NARS. This is in the shade Laguna. I'm also very curious how many of you actually use or pay attention to community posts. And the reason I ask that is I recently posted something about the Tarte um, custom kit and I only got one person thumbs up and leaving a comment, which is fine. If you saw it and you didn't feel like saying anything, that's okay but I was just curious like if you never even saw something pop up because maybe that's why nobody commented or maybe you just didn't care because if you guys don't watch or if YouTube isn't sharing community posts or maybe you just don't have the notifications turned on then it's kind of like why bother if I post something if you guys are gonna see it you know it's like very frustrating YouTube can be at least I find it to be frustrating. All right, that was a little dark, so let me just take whatever's on the brush and bring it around my face a little. I'm looking pasty pale, but when I get my blush on, it will look totally fine. I'm just gonna drag whatever remains down my neck because I'm being fancy. All right, let's move on to blush. In the same vein of using NARS products, this here is the teeniest, tiniest little, and I don't even think it's a sample. I, I think I got this in my Sephora birthday gift. I don't know, it's very tiny. This is the classic blush in the shade Orgasm. My brush is probably too big, but I will make it work. So I've spewed out a lot. Let me know what you think, if you could care less. I assume most people are gonna be like, do whatever you want, it's your channel. But I really have a small channel base, like 1600 subscribers, but when you only get 100 views, it's like, what? <laughs> Who's subscribed that doesn't watch my channel? Which is fine, but it's, it's unbalanced, you know? The, the views are not very high. So for those watching now, I really appreciate you. Leave me a lip emoji, any like a kissing mouth, with anything that has a lip, lipstick, something to do with lips, and that way I know, I already know who you are, but in case someone watches, but they don't leave a comment, that's engagement I'm missing out on, but I get it. Some people don't like leaving a comment, but even if you don't feel like typing something, just leaving an emoji, that in and of itself, counts as engagement, which really does help a channel to grow. All right, for eyeshadow, I grabbed this palette here from Huda Beauty. This is the Rose Quartz palette. My longtime subscriber and frequent commenter, hey Celine, uh, let me know that somebody told her this is like a go-to, if you only had to keep one palette, this is it. 
and it reminded me that I own it, but I haven't used it in forever. I'm going to go into this shade here and just get it all over the lid. So, oh, that concealer is creasing. Um, hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. I don't know. Uh, in like a month, I could totally change my mind. Go back to three oh, videos a week and be like, I don't know. I just had a little breakdown, but I honestly am just, I need a break. I struggle to find content. It's because when I started my channel, I don't, I might have said this at the beginning. I can't even remember at this point because I'm just rambling. But I honestly, I would purchase stuff just because it would be content. Like a haul. Like, oh, let me do, get a, do a haul from Elf, for example, right? So there's one video. I did an Elf haul. Next video, let me do a try on of everything I got from Elf. And it was like, fine at first, but now my collection is so large, I'm struggling to use any of my products. Case in point, here's one here. It's like, oh yeah, I haven't reached for that in forever. I'm now going to go into this shade here. So hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. It, it was a bad, um, not bad, but just I personally was shopping for content on my channel. I don't get PR. You know, think of all those larger channels. They have so much free content to them because they get stuff sent to them. They get every single beauty subscription sent to them. So there's tons of videos for them. They get PR. They just tons of what I consider free ideas for videos. So it's not, I'm jealous. I'm not. It's just it's reality. You know, when you don't buy as much or subscribe to as many boxes, it's less easy content, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna go into this darkest shade here and just deepen the outer corners. So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you watch other smaller channels, and if so, what you like about them or what kind of content they do. Like if they aren't constantly unboxing, you know, hauls or beauty subscriptions what are they doing in their videos that's keeping you engaged because it's hard coming up with ideas that haven't already been done or that you find you think would be interesting and pull in new subscribers all right that is a very interesting look i normally don't go for the purples even though in the pans, they look brown, but on my eyes, everything has a purple undertone. All right, I made a little bit of a mess, so I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and kind of fix on the sides here. Grab a fluffy brush and just blend. And then move on to highlighter, which... Not only am I going to put on my cheeks, but I'm going to put in my brow bone and as a topper. Oh wait, I'm so used to palettes I've been using lately not having really good shimmer shades. This is Huda, so let me go back into that palette and take a look here. Alright, this, ooh, that shade's beautiful. This really, ooh, that's a purple sparkle. Um, okay, so I'm going to, oh wait, there's another one. Ooh, I like that shade too. All right, they're already on my fingers, so let's add them all. So we'll go with that purple one, kind of outer, and then, I don't know, this taupey one, kind of inner. And then what do I do with that one? Let me just go on top because why not? Ooh. Ooh. Rinse and repeat over here. Can you tell I'm winging this? Forgot how, like, spacecrafty. Ooh, there's a big chunk of fallout there. Oh, why are my fingers so fat? I messed up. I got it in a weird spot. So let me just match the craziness. All right. Uh, those look beautiful on the eyes, but I'm still going to go into this Ofra and get a shade for my brow bone. Because I don't want purple on my brow bone. But this 
lovely kind of peachy champagne shade is perfection. I'm going to put on some eyeliner now. This hair is from Colfi. I got this in a recent Allure Beauty box and it's a dark chocolatey brown. I don't know how well it's going to look with this purple, but I really enjoyed it. And I want to give it a second try because the old me would have tried it once for that video and then gone back to how I normally do, which is a liquid black liner. But let's see how this looks with that purple. This, by the way, does not transfer onto the lid and lasts beautifully. After all that fussing, I took out the Ofra highlighter, but I never put it on my face. It might help if I did that. All right, I will pop off camera to add eyeliner in the top waterline and to touch up my mascara. All right, I'm back. Eyes have been touched up. I did notice I had some redness on my nose, so I added a little more of the BB cream. Let's move on to the lip products. So this is tried and true if you've been following me. This here is from Wet n Wild. It's in Skin E Dipping or NY Dipping. It's a really nice cool toned kind of pinky nude. Which I think goes beautiful with this eye look. And I can never only wear a little lipstick or any single lip product. So I'm going to put this lip gloss on top. This here is from Shine to Be Miami. Got this, I want to say, Ipsy Boxy Charm. It's a really beautiful, kind of cool toned, nudie pink. A little more pink than nude, but I enjoy it. It also pairs really nicely with the Wet n Wild Bullet Lipstick. All right, so here's my final look. Nothing spectacular. I basically just wanted to throw together a look so I could explain to you, talk to you about my change in uploads and hoping you will turn on the notifications bell and just letting you know that if you don't see a video from me, look for a community post and it just means I didn't have anything. Now watch the next month or two, I still upload three videos. That's very possible, so don't hold my feet to the fire. I just wanted a little more flexibility that if I'm in a funk or don't feel like it or don't have anything, you know, if I'm scrambling, ugh, what get ready with me can I do today because I didn't really have anything to unbox, review, or talk about, then yeah, I will feel at ease that you guys won't go anywhere. You'll wait for the next video and I promise I will post something each week. Just no longer three videos. All right. I want to thank each and every one of you who stuck out this video. You are true supporters of mine. If anyone's new and is still here this deep in the video, I would love if you would subscribe for those who have. Thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos and community postings. And if you could do me a big favor, clicking the thumbs up. I say this every video. It's free. It takes two seconds. That is what helps the stupid YouTube algorithm help channels to grow. So it would mean the world to me if you click that thumbs up button. All right. Thanks, everyone.